we're live. Welcome to episode five of TNT Footy. I'm one of your hosts, Taz. And I'm Maggie, also known as Will. Ah, oh, Kelzo, what's up, lads? And I'm, hey. I'm fortu- fortunately, uh, it's just the two of us tonight. I know, poor Moisty. I reckon he's got the Rona, Eggy. Again. I hope not. I wish him all the best, but um, just want to thank, uh, thank, uh, yep, I've lost what I was going to say. I'm stuffed <laughs> already. <laughs> <laughs> Completely lost train of thought there, Eggy. It's all right. It was an awesome round of footy this weekend, wasn't it? Over the Easter long weekend, I had a good weekend. How about you? I had a great weekend, actually. It was pretty quiet, nice and chill. Um, went to the footy on Friday and that's about it. What about you? Um, yeah, I was pretty chill. Got my, my heart, my heart, um, broken on uh, Thursday night and, um, yeah, just had the rest of the, rest of the weekend to recover. What, what happened Thursday night? Uh, Collingwood went down to Brisbane. They did. I just wanted to bring up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kelso feels sorry for me having to deal with Taz on my own. It's oh, all right. right. Kelzo stuck with me for a few days, so he'll get used to it. I'm I'm used to it though. Me me, me and Taz just used to have a little little show we used to do called All All Decked Out as well. So good times, mate. Good it's memories. Good times. <laughs> good times. I think footy's a bit more important. Uh, yeah, a little bit more interesting than uh, what we were talking about back in those days. Yeah, that's true. Ah, Sessions here. G'day, boys. <laughs> Is that you? That's Artie, isn't it? Hey, Artie. Welcome, mate. And I, I just want to um, just want to give a shout out to Artie's cousin currently, um, not in a good way. So hopefully um, things improve. Sorry to hear, Artie. Um, all right, Eggy. Shall we start with our normal uh, winners and losers? We shall. Round one, you... game one, Brisbane, 116, v Collingwood, 83. I was going to do you the <laughs> honour of, uh, of reading that and it saves you having to relive it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, 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 what can I say? Brisbane came out firing. Like, it was a pretty good game in the first quarter, then Brisbane came out in the second quarter and just sort of got ahead, and then, yeah, we just couldn't quite peg back, peg back that margin. I think not having a Ruckman yeah. giving back to you guys, there yep. was, I think there was a few times you got called um free kicks for the the 666 because you just didn't seem to be organized in uh, not having a ruckman can can you explain the 666 i'm not sure what that is yeah so the 666 is you've got to have six players in the forward 50 six players in the defensive 50 but out of those six players one of them must be in the goal square as well from each team oh, okay yep and you've got two wingers that must be on obviously the wing outside the center square yep and then you've got your uh, midfielders that, that start in the middle, six players. Oh, I, I, see, I didn't even know that. I thought you could just go all over the field. No, no. So that's only for goals, though. Oh, okay. Uh, so goals, like centre bounces, essentially. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think that kind of... And, and you get a warning. You get one warning per game, per quarter, I think it is. Yep. And then it's a free kick to the opposition if you're, you're not within your, your positions. They brought right. that in a couple of years ago. Do you know why they brought that in? No, I do not. Is, is, is this part of Taz's test? Or? This is not, but maybe I should <laughs> hold on to it. No. Um, yeah. Basically, they brought it in because um, you can blame Clarko, I think it was, he used to do the flood. Yeah. He'd just get all the players back behind the ball um, in the defensive 50 and just flood the back line so no team could score. Yeah. So they made it where you had to do 666 and it's a bit more open and free flowing. No, that's pretty good. That's fair enough too. Cause yeah, I, I remember, um, like in back in the day when um, yeah, local footy on the Gold Coast, we used to to be at the back line and if we just needed one more goal to win the game. There'd just be the whole team sort of running through trying to get the ball and push it forward. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> guess that's why they shut that down. <laughs> you, you talking about footy or rugby? Uh, footy, like uh, footy, AFL. Yeah. Yep. Being yeah, a ruse. Footy. Flashback to the past. That's going back about forty years, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I wasn't. I wasn't. Right, I wasn't no. minus two. No. <laughs> All right, we'll keep moving through the games. We uh, so North Melbourne and Carlton. Now, I went to this game. Yes, and uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Carlton did not play well the first two quarters. North Melbourne did. Credit to North yes. Melbourne. They were spreading really quick off the the defensive fifty. They had, um, they have been very very good this year, surprisingly. Big improvers. Yep. And I think um, 
what lost it for them? I think it was around the third quarter somewhere. There was there was um, four calls that went, went went against them. I think there was like a deliberate out of bounds, which was a bit hard. And then some, I think from that out of bounds kick, um, they they kicked it forward, and there was there was another call there for a high tackle, which was yeah. But yeah, yeah. I think there was about four calls in a row, in a row, which end up Carlton kick, kicking a goal or two, and then it, they just sort of sort of lost their momentum and yeah. I think it sort of gave gave Carlton the game because they were able to kick about four then and then sort of goal for goal and made it hard to pick back that score. No, disagree. Carlton did nothing wrong. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no I, I actually agree with you. We did get um, the rub of the green on Friday and it wasn't so much the, the free kick count. It was when we got our free kicks. Yeah, yeah. Like, were. yep. Yeah, I think, I think it was, it wasn't like, say like you got 50 frees where, um, whereas, North Melbourne got like ten. It was just like at the at the game at, at the time when they got the free kicks. It just it imp- impacted the game like drastically compared to just kick. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. And me being a Carlton supporter, I I'll take it. Um, but I think North Melbourne, especially because their list is quite young still, and they've got some fantastic players coming through the ranks. I think they're going to be finals bound in the next few years. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's sort of given me that um, the Western Bulldogs sort, sort of feel when they when they were like um, they were young guns and ended up winning the premiership because they just ran the old fellas off the field. Yes, yeah, ran loops around them because they were just young and fit. Yeah, yeah, a bit like Hawks when Clarko not long after Clarko took over and got Buddy and everyone. Yep, definitely. Then we're going to uh, Adelaide Fremantle. Adelaide got the win there. Did you tip him? I, I did tip him. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I can't even remember who I tipped now. I was sort of hot and cold. Like, I was I was doing pretty good. I got, I, I caught up to Miff, and then I was in front of Miff, and then I had a few bad bad tips and dropped down the ladder. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm only one point behind Miff, but I, I've dropped from second to, to fifth or sixth or something. Ooh. We'll bring up the ladder shortly. Yep. I, um... The, the wheels have fallen off. I, I did predict the Fremantle finals, and uh, at the moment... That's the way we're going. That's good. I can see you concentrating there. Eggie, so That's just right. so people know, Eggie, Eggie does all the uh, the screen cinematics and uh, presentations. So when, we're, when we've got one less with no moisture, he tries <laughs> to do a couple of things at once and yeah. struggles because he's a typical bloke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can't multitask. And I, I, re- I realized, look, I had the scores up, but then I was like, oh, I haven't put the transition on, so I haven't actually changed the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulty. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's worth to clip that later and put that in the in the TikTok reels, won't we? <laughs> I just saw like this flash in the corner of my eye, and I was like, "What's he doing?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I don't have the scores up." <laughs> Clearly, we're not professionals, people. Nah, not. But professionals. then, but then now we got Rich, Richmond v Bulldogs. That was a really good game. That one. That was a cracking game. Yeah. Great to see Bond and Pally back in form. And you, you were, you were like, I, I tip Bulldogs. I'm like, oh, your game. Even, even um, Turtle put some money on the Bulldogs to win. I was like, oh, yeah, your game. I doubt they're going to win, but I was proven wrong. They did come they back did. in the last, almost got there, but they probably get it over the line. And now Richmond have got no Nankivis no. for a few weeks. No, I think Tom Lynch. Actually, long term. Tom Lynch has been cleared, but I think he's injured too. He's injured for three months, and I think Nankivis' is medium term is all they've said. That's two massive losses. Rewalt comes back in, but there's huge, huge players to try and fill I, in for. I didn't realize Tom Lynch was able to kick him out of the team. Ah, do you have him in your super coach? I think so. You should keep him. <laughs> <laughs> g thank you. Even though you both say you aren't professionals, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelzo, you could have you could have fooled me. I thought you did this for a living. <laughs> Mate, that's the dream. Imagine that talking footy twenty four oh, seven. It's just this. Is, this is my retirement dream. <laughs> I mean, we do that anyway. Talk footy every and shit. Yep, twenty four seven. But um, this was. I'm not going to say actually because we'll get to that. But St Kilda Gold Coast Saints absolutely wiped the floor with the Suns. They have, and they're they're looking very good lately. They are, and it, and it, and it reminds me. I was seeing a few TikToks going around. I think uh, one one girl keeps. Uh, Knock, knock. Who's there? Owen. Owen who? <laughs> <laughs> and it just starts to chant. Say Mitch Owens. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they, look, do you think 
the sun setting on Gold Coast making finals? Uh, Unintended. I think that they're, they're playing all right, but they're just not quite getting there. They, they remind me of Carlton last year, but I suppose Carlton were were eight eight and zero this time last year, or not? Well, were five and zero or four and zero this time last year. Yeah, we were doing pretty well last year. Yeah. Oh I, no, I think we'd lost by this stage last year because apparently this is our best start since nineteen ninety five or something. I got, uh, I got a fun fact for you too. Remind me later. Okay. Um. Who did we have after that, Eggy? Uh, oh, just change the screens. After that, we had Sydney versus Port Adelaide, 64 to 66, with the uh, controversial kick after the siren. <laughs> another cracking game was, of footy. Was, it was a cracking game and, until, until we lost our bet. <laughs> and, yes. And, and the tipping money is just now halved. Stand to, get... stand to $33. So. <laughs> oh, mate. Sorry, we'll build it up. Yep. We'll build it up. That was, that was an epic game, though. It was um, epic. And the, like an epic ending too. Like I thought it was, thought it was a goal, and then yeah, a couple oh, the of Sydney, celebration. A couple of Sydney players didn't didn't, didn't put the uh, the shepherd on earlier. Earlier got got to the ball and was punched it. They had a punched it before he went over the line. Yep, yep. And then we were sitting there going, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. After that, we had Essendon GWS. That we was did. actually another pretty good game. I, I, didn't, I didn't get to see much of that game, but yeah. Mason Redmond take a bow. Absolutely, absolutely dominated. Played very, very well. Then we had uh, West Coast and Melbourne. I actually uh, tipped West Coast, but then uh, about an hour or two before the game, I was like, no, nah, I can't do it. They've got too many outs and that, so I ended up uh, switching my tip and putting Melbourne in. Well, from memory, you and Moosty both had... Eagles tips before we did. show last week. We did, but then, yeah, because of all the injuries and that, and then I don't think Elliot Yo was back in, and then that's what sort of, yeah, just 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 the form and the way I was looking in the tipping too. So, yeah, I, I, I saw that, like, um, I'd already caught, no, I wasn't, I hadn't caught Myth, but I was like, I think I was pretty close to him, and I was like, if, if I don't, if I just if I just go Melbourne, because everyone's would have gone Melbourne, I, I don't fall a further tip behind. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair call. Very cool. Artie's foot. The uh, Hawks looked great first half, then free kick Geelong kicked in. Did it really? I didn't watch the game at all. I, I watched the first two quarters, or maybe a quarter and a half. And then um, when Geelong kicked, kicked about um, 40 points in the second quarter, that's when I just went, oh, this is yeah, this is the reigning premier <laughs> show again. <laughs> well, we've got Artie in chat. Oh, actually, yep. Artie said that. Yeah, okay. Did you watch the game, Artie? If... Um... If so, and as non-biased as possible, because I know A, you hate Geelong, and I know B, that you're a Hawthorne supporter, what what did you think of the game, mate? I'm really, really interested to know. Um, from what I saw in the highlights, Jeremy Cameron, he, he's carrying Geelong at the moment. Yep. He's literally putting Geelong on his back and dragging them across the line. And there's currently an argument going around that, it's out of him and Charlie Kerno as the best players in the game right now. I, I think it's Jeremy Cameron. I personally do. Yep. Yeah, he's done very well. Like for he, him, I think he got 20, 20 odd disposals, seven goals, one. That's massive. Yeah, I can't. I, I think the the game when they played Collingwood, or no, Collingwood was the first round. Turtle, thanks for the follow. Um, hey, Turtle. Was the game after Collingwood? I remember who they yeah, played. Carlton. Yeah, against Carlton. They, he, he was he was going hard hard then, just putting his body on the line and really going for it. I think he got a sore back at the end of it. But yeah, I thought he had cracked ribs after that game. He yeah, was, that could have been. He it was crunched. Yeah, but he was just but, going hammer and tongue. But obviously, when you're one man against eighteen, can't do it. Exactly, and that that was the the running joke in the week afterwards. It was Carlton versus Jeremy Cameron. <laughs> But um, that was, yeah, that was a that was a demolition job by the Cats, and maybe this is this is them kicking into gear now. Yep, gonna you know go on a, a win streak and get back into the final eight, the top eight, the final eight. Oh my god, the top eight. But there's not much between. I've got the, got the ladder up now. There's except for Saint Saint Kilda and Carlton, they're up pretty pretty high in there. But between six six to twelve, uh, six six to eleven, they're all on eight points. Then Richmond on six, Geelong are on four, Old Coast are on four as well. So 
if they reckon Geelong's going to make it, so it's not that that hard to say that Gold Coast might make. Hmm, interesting. I'm just reading what Artie said here. So he's come out and he said, um, "Thank you for your, for your input too, Artie." First half, the effort was fantastic. 10 out of 10 from the Hawks. And they should have been further ahead. Then they come out after half time, and it's like they were a completely different side. They were under 12 uh, skill level. Um, and they had no no effort at all. So pathetic. One out of 10 was Artie's ranking on the Hawks. So <laughs> that's fair. I think that's fair. It's fair. Um, now, Eggie, do you want to touch on our, our 10K challenge? I know we briefly mentioned it before. But... Oh, did you, you, you don't want to uh, mention like the likes and what you didn't like to, this round? Or... Do you know what? I think that's a great idea, and I didn't put that on my, my spreadsheet. Um, actually, yes, I did. Sorry, I just needed to scroll. Do you want to kick us off? Uh, yeah, well, well, what I did like was the, the closeness of, of the Richmond, the Bulldogs game, and the Sydney game, and that. It was like nail-biting stuff. Even the, the Essen and GWS game, like GWS sort of come back in the end there and almost got, got close there. But the, like, like the the fact of the competition this year is just so, everything seemed so close. Where they thought Collingwood was going to blow Brisbane out of the water, but Brisbane just turned it on and yeah. That's probably one thing I didn't like was Collingwood losing, but it was, <laughs> they can't they can't just keep keep going and winning. It's, it's like St Kilda, they can't just keep going on winning. Even even Carlton, they haven't lost a game yet either, have they? Technically, they will. <laughs> Thursday yeah. night, they'll lose against Adelaide. Just just have a look here. Sorry, Turtles put in here tanking. Serious question, really. And then Artie's gone definitely tanking. It has been thrown around. Um, would you tank this early in the season though? Uh, it's round five. Yeah, I, I just I just don't know if. If a club would tank from the get go, and, and this is try. this is Sam Mitchell. Well, I was going to say his second season, but he sort of came in halfway through last season. Um, was it the season before? I think it was the season before. Yeah, he came in halfway. Whereas they, they said, Clark, you can go, and then fuck young. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, I, don't, I, I personally don't think they're tanking yet. Um, if they were tanking, they wouldn't have. Because they, they've got a win on the board as well already, I'm pretty sure. Yep. What do you think? Uh, I'm on the fence yet. We'll we'll, we'll soon see. When when they come out and um, who did they beat that time? I can't remember who they beat now. They beat the team last week. It's like oh, that's North Melbourne. North Melbourne. So yeah, yeah. oh yeah, but that was a depleted North Melbourne. Um, but yeah, I I I'd like to see how. I'll give them a few more weeks. So I'll make my yeah, I'm with you on that. I just don't see the point because it, it can also, when a team tanks to lose, the team morale drops significantly and it's really hard to build those players up and you don't want the players to start getting a losing culture or going through a losing culture like the Car like Carlton did for many years and North Melbourne have recently gone through it because it can, it can create a toxic environment. Artie's put premierships aren't won during the season. Just ask Geelong supporters as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Artie. That is great. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So getting back on track. I love going off track. Have, uh, what else did you like? Anything else jump out at you? Uh, no, that, that was pretty much it. Like just just, just the, the closeness of, of the of the season this year so far with all the games have been, like a lot of the games have been pretty close in that. So it's, it's been... Very good, entertaining to watch. That's for sure. Love it, love it. I had um, had the crowd turnout for Good Friday. I thought it was fantastic. Sold out at Marvel. I think yep. next year they they should consider moving it to the G. I yep. really do. Um, it was just a, an a amazing atmosphere. And guys, if you haven't checked out uh, the TikTok I put up, you'll see I got the transition from when everyone they actually turned the lights off and everyone had their mobile phones out with their lights on. And then moved it across. Um, I timed it perfectly. Don't ask me how I did that. It was just luck. Um, I thought that was really good. And they raised money uh, for such a good cause. And the, they also had um, children and their families and parents run through the banner before the players did. Um, and the whole crowd was cheering for them. So that that that's, would have had such a magnificent impact on those kids. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Um 
I, li- I'm li- I like the fact that the Coleman medal board has Cameron and Kernel at the top. Charlie Kernel comes out, kicks six, and Cameron's like, oh, I'll do I'll do better, kick seven. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. So Cameron on 18, Kernel on 16, and then it's four uh, four goals below Kernel is Nick Larky on 12. So a bit of a gap there. And those two, there's talk that they they might get close to the 100. Um which will be interesting because that hasn't been done since 2008, as we found out from my quiz last week. And last but not least, um, I've got here, one, one other thing that I really liked was the young guns of the competition at the moment really starting to stamp their authority. Um, so it was really great to see Nick Dacos, 38 touches, two goals. Will Ashcroft, 26 touches. Cam Rayner starting to live up to potential. I know he's been in the system a bit, but he's still young. Four goals, 17 disposals. For the record, should never play in the back line again. Harry Sheasel, 37 disposals. Josh Rochelle, three goals, 20 disposals. Mitch Owens, two goals, 27 disposals. That's just fantastic to see these young players starting to really show the competition what they can do. Yes. Great for the future of the game. So that, that, that's what I liked about it, Eggie. Yep, oh, that's good. What I didn't like, uh, and again, I'm a Carlton supporter, everyone I, th- I think knows this by now, but I, I actually didn't like the fact that Mackay and Lynch both got off their charges this week, um, especially considering the incident with Paddy McCartan and the concussion that he uh, received on the weekend from such an innocuous incident. I just think that they need to get any head knock should be one week minimum. That, yep. That's just the way I feel right now because we're still, you know, we're still learning about concussions and the the damages that that can do to players in their future. Uh, I, I know with the NRL, like if if, if they get like um, concussed, I think there's like a, there's two two stages to it. It's like first stage and second stage. And if you get to, like you get called off for the game, you automatically got to m- miss ten ten days of football. So that means the next next week you're out as well. So yep. I, yeah, I, I think you should automatically like it. Is that is there something similar to that with the AFL? Come on, Eggy, you're on a footy podcast. What are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yes, there is. So there's twelve. You have to automatically twelve days can't play footy for. Yep. So- um, that's if you. Are concussed, but I'm talking more about the the people that are causing the concussion. Yeah, well, that, that's, that, that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, if 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 they're automatically getting 12, 12 days off, I reckon the other the, the instigator should, should get should get the same penalty. Yeah, yeah. I actually I like that. I like that. Turtles just put here. Harry doesn't have a bad record. Still deserved a week, but Lynch has fines as long as his arm yet never suspended. And that's two good points. Two good points. Taking away their past. Um, their past goods or bad, uh, positives or negatives. I still think that head hits, unless it's like a really soft brush and it's like it's nothing. I, I just think that any kind of force to the head should be a week minimum. Yep. Then we've got Artie. I did not like the game turning into non-contact. They play harder in netball. You're talking about the bump and those sort of things, and I actually think the game's starting to become too quick for a lot of players to be able to lay tackles and that um, because then they get they get stuck, you know, holding them in and there's a free kick given. What are, what are your thoughts, Will? Yeah, well, I, I, I try to see it stick clear of it. Like, I, 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 do, I do like the bump, but then you, you do see some, like, bad injuries and, like, bad concussions and, like, um, like... NRL and stuff like that, hit like players coming back with like brain damage and that, like further on down their life track and that from from all the hard hits they've taken. And go look at boxing as well and stuff like that. Muhammad Ali and yeah, 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 absolutely. I think it's um... like I do, I, I I do like like the rough and toughness of the game, but then there are these like clouds over the um the injuries and stuff like that. So yeah. game they can be pretty de- devastating yeah definitely i mean we still get some big hits that are fair um but it's also risky for the players you know they're the ones putting their bodies on the line and and whatnot um turtles just put something here won't work look at mccartan he gets concussion from a light hit some players can take more so it wouldn't be fair judging on the outcome 
I, I agree with that. I, I do think like it's, what they're doing at the moment is pretty much outcome based. Um, that's why I think that they need to just any any force to the head in any way, shape, or form should be a weak. That's it. Yep. That that's just how they should make it. So it's a black and white rule. None of this gray area. <laughs> Bring back the Biff. Oh, geez, mate. That was that was some tough, tough hits back then. Tough hits back then. The, the, the players seemed a lot bigger back then as well. <laughs> Whether they, they see they seem a lot a, a lot a lot leaner now and, and faster, but like back then they they were solid they were solid blokes at six six foot tall. That's because they freaking go off at half time and scull six beers and go back onto the field. <laughs> six full beers. Of alcohol. And have a durry and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eggy, I think we're up to it. Oh, we're up to the 10K challenge. Let me just get the get the things sorted. Now we we did we did speak to uh Moisty beforehand to um get get his his tip for the week. We did. We yep. did indeed. So I've got his and there. His, his is the Gold Coast. So we're down to thirty three dollars ninety. I think we're going to put seventeen dollars on on our on our uh, <laughs> bet this week. So it's between Gold Coast. I'm going with uh, GWS. You go with GWS to beat Hawthorne, the sure thing. Yep. At a dollar forty. I I haven't looked at um, what they're paying or anything, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to go Adelaide to beat Carlton. Oh. Spelled that, yeah. That's uh, yeah. all right. Do we do it now? Let's do it. Click to spin. Do you want to explain what this is? Well, this is our uh, 10k challenge. We're, we're, we're trying. We're trying to build up our money to um, give away for the tipping contest. And uh, we got up our first week. We, we missed with Brisbane Lions, and then we, we end up get, getting the bonus bet back. And we, we we all put a few bets on. We end up getting it up to seventy seven dollars. Then we put forty dollars on uh, Sydney to win last weekend, and we we all saw how that went. So now we're down. <laughs> now we're down to uh, thirty-seven dollars ninety, I think. So, so we're going to put the um, I think the seventeen dollars of it. It's going on GWS. GWS. So oh God, I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But now, uh, um, how did you go with your ten k challenge last week? So I reloaded. Yep. Put twenty bucks in. Um, and I decided that I was going to do a multi. So the same game multi on for Carlton North Melbourne. Yep. And I missed out by Adam Chera not getting the required disposals. I had him down for 25. He finished on 15. I had all, I had the other four um, choices done. So from memory, I had Jesse Motlop, anytime goal scorer, Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerno to kick two each. Yep. Um, and Sheasel to get 25 touches. So, Ches, you let me down, mate. Disappointed, but that's all right. I moved on. I then put a, a multi-bet on um, the next day, and I did it for the games that were on Saturday. So it was, I had Adelaide Freeman. No, what was the next day? I had Richmond Bulldogs, St Kilda Gold Coast, Sydney Port Adelaide, Essendon GWS. I got all of them except for Sydney. They let me down literally on the final siren. <laughs> I would have won. My, I would have turned my twenty bucks into a hundred and sixty or just under. Oh. What about yourself? Um, I, I I too had multi ons. Here's one here. I had Nick Dacos for twenty five touches and Charlie Cameron for two or more goals, but it was in to Collingwood to win. So mm-hmm. I missed that and got the bonus back, and then. Then I got. Uh, I had Will Warbrick to score a try and Nick Mead to score a try. Um, Nick Meany scored the try, but Will Warbrick didn't. So then I got uh, fifteen dollars back for that, and then I found uh, White Marlin on the weekend, paying two dollars ninety. So I put the thirty dollars on that, and then I'm getting me uh, eighty four dollars return. Hey, you've yeah. been on that for a, over a week now. Yep, yep. No, I have. So it actually was a forty four dollars return, but then I'm up to eighty four dollars overall. So then this week I'm going um, Cameron Munster to score a try, which is two dollars twenty. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to put Melbourne Storm, pick your own line at plus 17 points. So they should get the, the, the thing to get home. But um, I've, I've done it this way, so I get the bet return. So I'm, I'm going to put uh, $40 on this. And if that falls through, I've got a two-leg multi into the racing on Saturday. Uh, Randwick race four, Magic Time to win. 
and then Ascot Race 7, Live to Tell to win as well. And I think the Group 1 Quokkas uh, at Ascot on Race 8 on Saturday, I think uh, Uncommon James is going to win that, but I, I'm not, not willing to put, put my um, a 10k on the line for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a, a a good segment into your best bets. Yes, Before that's what I was do doing. My um, the, I'm going to top up. I'm going to chuck ten bucks in again. $10. You're going again. Reload, mate. Reload. I'm going to do this 10k challenge. Yeah, all right. I if I have to put ten bucks in a week, and it, it'll be two twenty, maybe two fifty, maybe three hundred by the end of the season. Hopefully, I've made more than that back. Just remember, you don't win when you gamble. Clearly. Yep. Um, and uh, I'm going to put a same game multi on. I'll post that on our TikTok tomorrow. Yep. Beautiful. Now, my my, my best bets. Um, it's, it's it's a bit bit hard hard to 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 choose this far out for the racing and that and uh, for the footy and that. But you got my best bets um, that I'm going to do for the 10k challenge. Um, but if you get into the Discord, I'm going to post everything in there, and then uh, on the TikTok you'll see all our winners. If you need the Discord. They'll all be posted in there, and I'll, I'll be making some TikToks along the way too. Love it, love it. I'm just. Uh, do you, Do you want to lead into the tips because right. I am just arranging, uh, giving our our two contestants our ten minute warning. So yeah, tipping on the weekend. Uh, our reigning champ, uh, well, not reigning champ. Our um. Leader Mitz Brew, which is uh, Dino, I think it's Todd's brother. He, that is correct. He was getting consistent seven, six, seven, but he got a fall this week. And uh, my wife's been able to catch him. She's now on 24 points as well, but there's a few of us on 23 behind him. We've got Sammy, we've got Richmond, we've got Pegalish and me. And then we saw Artie's down, at, down only on 22. He's only two, two points behind the leader as well. Ooh. Just seeing how Bro Bross is going, he's on 20. Turtle's on 19. We've got Taz down on 17. Oh, he's, he's jumped Moisty. I've made a move, mate. Yes. I've made a move. Oh, you got move. seven. You got seven last week. Well done. Huge. That was huge. You need, you need another 12 of them, but you might, we might get close to the top. <laughs> I'm doing a Geelong, mate. I'm coming back. I'm going to win this flag. I am going to win it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> got, oh, Soul, Soul Man there on 22. Pretty even. That is pretty even. Like from from first from first to seventeen is pretty close. It's at four points in it. I yeah. would say first to twenty twenty ninth, fifth, or twenty eighth. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's only seven points in it. I'd ask Moisty how it feels to be you know third last because he was giving me so much crap last week, yep. but he's decided to be sick. So. There goes that <laughs> Maybe, maybe his tipping made him sick. <laughs> In all seriousness, I hope, I, hope, I hope he's feeling better soon. Yeah, so do I. So do I. Um, it's a hard. It's a hard season to tip. It is like even even this round, I was. It's I've been on the fence a lot about a lot of games too. Like it's just. Is anyone else finding it hard to tip this season? Anyone in chat? Because it's. I, I'm struggling. I really am struggling. I struggled. I struggled last week. Like there, there was a few games that I thought, like the 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 winner was gonna like the um favorite was gonna come out on top, and it didn't. Few when I thought the underdog was gonna come out on top, and it. Didn't. But yeah, I actually thought last week was okay. I only missed out on Sydney and I don't know who. Turtles Colin. gone. I've tipped Adelaide and North as underdogs. See, I don't think Adelaide are underdogs. I think. They they got like a sixty three or a sixty six percent win ratio at Adelaide Oval. Is that where they're playing? I haven't actually quite yep. gather round, my friend. Yeah, I know, I, 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 I know it's I know it's gather round, but then there's a few that are playing on the um, they aren't getting the um, Adelaide the ground. ground. Yeah, they're getting some. I think um, I think that'll be like the smaller clubs, like yeah, they're getting Melbourne some and... like, like local games, like local ground games, and like, they're only bit five thousand people. That's big for North Melbourne GWS. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, should, I have should... the, um, 
They'll have the cars around the outside with the flashing of the lights. Turtles like Brisbane yet to win away, and even last year record was horrible. Oh, so he's got North Melbourne to beat them. Ooh. But technically, it's a Brisbane home game. Yeah, see, that's where it's going to fall apart. But um, should we move into our tips while we're on it? Yeah, we are. We're, we're in it. Um, actually, Artie's put his room. He's got Adelaide. So for, for Adelaide Carlton, he's got Adelaide. For Frio Gold Coast, he's got Frio. For, for Richmond, Sydney, he's got Richmond. For Ooh. Brisbane, North Melbourne, he's gone Brisbane. Melbourne, Port Adelaide. Uh, Melbourne and Essendon, he's gone Melbourne. He's gone um, West Coast over Geelong. Um, actually, no. Oh, Western Bulldogs, sorry. Yep, over, <laughs> Port. over Port Adelaide. Then Geelong over West Coast. GWS and the Pies. All right. Ad- Adelaide Carlton, you're already tipping Adelaide, aren't you? I am. They're my, they're my certainty for yep. the weekend. See, I've... Brain's just fine. <laughs> I've, I actually, I have gone Adelaide as well. Adelaide at home. Yep. 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 And Frio Gold Coast, who'd you go? This, this was a tough one because they're both playing terribly yep. at the moment. Um, but do show signs of good football every now correct. and then. Correct. And today, hearing that Wits might be out again, um, I, I'm leaning towards Gold Coast, but if Wits is out, I think we're going to change to Fremantle. Okay. What about you? I'm, I'm the same. I'm on Gold Coast at the moment, but yeah, I haven't quite locked it in yet. Yep. Beautiful. And then what have you got for Richmond, Sydney? Uh, I've gone Sydney. I think Sydney after that loss last week and Richmond, they've still got a few out. They've lost Lynch. Who else? They've lost, lost Nan Curvis. Yeah, so, and I think Rebolt comes back in. May, Jaden Short, maybe. If not, maybe next week. Yeah, he's predicted to come back round five or six. So we'll see how that goes. I yep. only know that because he's in my super coach team, so keep an eye on him. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I went Swans as well. I, I just don't see who's going to ruck for Richmond. They've got no Nankervis, obviously, yep. or Nankervis. Um, I don't. I think Soldo's injured as well, so they've only got that young kid who, um, you would think Laddams would dominate. Yeah. And we got uh, Brisbane versus North Melbourne. Who do I go? I went Brisbane. I've gone Brisbane as well. I, I, I think they're they're a dollar ten favourites, but they are. They, they played some really good footy on Thursday. I was quite impressed by the way they played, and if they can re- repeat like repeat that again, should they should get on top over North Melbourne. Is well, they had Cam, Cameron and um, Danaher kick a few goals. That, yep. That's what they need. Yep. That's what they need. Is Is there any outs for North Melbourne that you know of? Uh, not that I've seen, no. I think they got through pretty unscathed last week. Um, next game, we've got Essendon and Melbourne. Uh, I've gone Melbourne. I'm actually, uh, I had Melbourne, like one of, one of my, in the first first um, episode, it was my, they won't make top four, but I'm um, biting my tongue on that one. Did you say it. Melbourne wouldn't make top four? Yeah, that was one of my guarantees that I thought would happen. Big call. Mm. So uh, my predictions it's not looking good <laughs> I've got them written down somewhere I'll have to go back and check halfway through maybe that's what we'll do with a half season show yep um, I've got Melbourne as well I just think they're going to be too dominant and Grundy's starting to hit form now um, being the sole ruck um, yeah I, th- I just think they'll be too good Essendon though are playing very good football they are yes so um and then we've got Bulldogs and Port Adelaide. I've gone Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. I'm not confident, but uh, I'm feeling it. I'm just, I've had a few losses. But then they did have a win, I suppose. They did. I'm hoping last week kicked Bulldogs into gear. I've gone Doggies. Yeah. I hope Tom English has a big game. He, you got him in your draft? Yep. <laughs> got to trade him for the Curvis. No, no, I'm, I'm all right. Thanks. He's, he's the only good player I got. He's the only guaranteed captain I can put in every week so far. <laughs> touch wood, touch wood. Fuck, fuck. What did I even say that for? <laughs> oh, that's gold. Yeah, now we're looking at Geelong West Coast. I've gone Geelong after Geelong's effort last week. West Coast with half a team out. I'm thinking Geelong's looking pretty good. If they can, yeah, re- yeah. If they can repeat their, their last last half they did last week. 
looking pretty good. And then let's just hope it wasn't a teaser. GWS and Hawthorne. Obviously, uh, GWS is, is my, my my pick pick of the round, and that's what we have to put our money on because of the the, the wheel of names. <laughs> this is true. I'm I'm going Giants as well, yep. and I'm I'm banking on Cornelio getting over a hundred in Supercoach this week because the last two weeks he's wrecked me. Yep. Uh, More mid now, but oh, that's good. his that's disposal efficiency is killing him at the moment. That's, that, 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 that's what I noticed, like with Super Crash. It's like my, my first proper year that doing it with money and that, and I've taken like a, a bit more notice and that. Having like Jamie Elliott and Tom Hawkins, if they have a quiet game, you're fucked. So you, you need you need to find find those like um, mid, like like the Jeremy Camerons, like the, the, the mid fours that that sort of get around the ball a lot a lot more as well. Get they can get their points up. Once they kick, yeah. kick a couple of goals, it really puts them over the over the line. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm looking for. Apparently, we need a meeting ID, which I didn't. I don't think there is one. Um, that's all right. I'm just having some technical difficulties with trying to get Herdy into. Such as, but don't yeah. forget and get down and support your local footy starts this Saturday. If you don't have one. Pop down to. Peterson Street Reserve, Hampton Hammers versus Mrabbin Kangas. Oh, nice. the Kangas. You're got, pulling on the boots, Artie. I've got a few locals. I've I, I got um, Star, which, which is where I work and my wife grew up in. We've got Dane Beams and um, some other Brisbane Lions player too. I think his dad's the coach, actually. Can't remember it. We've got Devin Meadows around the corner. Which, uh, got, got Paddy Ryder in there for the ruck now. And then yep. I got my sister-in-law, her boyfriend plays for the Frankston Bombers. So I get down there and I watch a few of their games as well. Yeah, beautiful. I just want to ask uh, Turtle, did you need a meeting ID to join? Because apparently it's asking... Um, no, asking no, 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 it just took me straight to the thing and said enter your name and where you went. All right, let's hope we can get this work. And otherwise, Will, you're going to have to uh, <laughs> go up against Turtle. Go up against Turtle. Um, That's fantastic. But just for for the last game of the round, Collingwood v St Kilda. I've gone Collingwood. Of course, Turtle joins as we're talking about the Pies <laughs> game. Look at him in his Collingwood out. He is burning. I better change the uh, the screen so we can all see Turtle. There we go. Um, I have gone with. St Kilda. I think this is going to be um, St Kilda's test. See where they're really at. Yep. Oh, here he is. Some technical difficulties. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all right, mate. We'll forgive you this time. <laughs> I even brought my, this lucky ball. So, <laughs> seeing Jamie Elliott in a cafe in Seymour. Uh, when my daughter was six months old, she's now 10, and we met him at the cafe in Seymour, and then he went away, and he came back 20 minutes later with this ball signed for her. That's oh, cool. that's nice. That's really cool. So he's got his number 19 on it. That's fantastic. He's a superstar as well. Who did you pick, Eggie, for that one? Uh, Collingwood. Pies. Hot pies. Cody, welcome. Hey, Code Star. Welcome, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Um, just in time for our newest segment. Are we talking about Taz's testes? Taz's, <laughs> Taz's test. <laughs> so I've fine-tuned this a little bit. Now, same as last week, I'm going to get you both to tell me what your buzzer is um, in a moment. Now, each question, you get one opportunity to answer. If you get that wrong, the other person then gets a chance to answer, um, but only one, ch one chance each. When we get to the who am I, each hint, you get one chance to have a guess. As soon as you answer wrong for that hint, you're out. You must wait for your op opponent or for the next hint. Oh. All righty. So there's no doubling up on trying to guess, just to make it a little bit interesting. Uh, Cody, I'm excellent. How are you, how are you three other boys here going? Cody's asked. Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm very well, well as well. <laughs> You're well? Back you, from the you Mario movie. It was fantastic. 
Are you nervous? Never. No. <laughs> no. Turtles already. Be lucky to get one right. Place, so. <laughs> no need to be nervous. <laughs> All right. So, um, turtle, what's your buzzer? What's my buzzer? All right. Let's go with a uh, ball. Ball. I like it. Hurdy, what's your buzzer? Bros. Bros. Nice and short. Fantastic. Eggy, ready to get the score and going? Oh, I'm ready as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> no, that's not very ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question one. I nearly went straight to the who am I then. Um, question one. What year was the first season of VFL? Bros. Oh, bros, yep. 1920. Incorrect. Turtle, you got a free shot. I'm going to go 1927. Incorrect. It was actually, and I didn't know this until I looked this up, so I cheated. Um, 1897 was the very first game of VFL football. Good effort there, Cody. Uh, Artie with 1953. All right. Question two. Who is the current commissioner of the AFL? Roz. Roz, yep. No one. The current. Incorrect. Oh, that's the head of football. Sorry. <laughs> Turtle, free shot. Commissioner? Yep. The only big knob I know is Gil McLaughlin. He's not the commissioner. Are you sure? Is he CEO? Yes, I know Gil McLaughlin. That is right. Gil's right. Oh, well, there you go. Yep. yep. Well done. Um, okay. What animal was released onto the SCG in 1993? Well, I'll say turtle. A pig. Correct. What's that? 2 1? 2 0. Two zero. Ooh, carryover champ falling behind. I got on through on a technicality. I wouldn't call it a carryover. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Artie and Cody both getting that correct in chat as well. And just so everyone knows, not next week, but the week after, Artie will be the uh, the challenger of whoever the champ is. Okay. Question four. At what ground did the lights recently go out? Oh. Which call oh, yep. Gabba. Gabba, that is correct. Three zip. Woo! That was a heat then when we said it. Sorry, what was that, Steve? That heat when we both said it. I heard who did you hear first, Eggy? I, I heard I heard our ball first. Ball I think first. Uh, but 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 I think Bro Bross is sort of cutting in and out, so he might have he might have might have said it but it didn't come through. That'll Possibly. smash. It. Possibly. All right. But who am I? Born 1st of April, 1993, not April Fool's joke, uh, in Dartmoor, Victoria. All right, I'll keep going. I have been all Australian three times in the years 2013, 2019, and 2022. Ross? Yep. Lance Franklin? Incorrect. It's all right. You, you got to wait for the next part and then you can keep going. Or keep going, Turtle? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yep. All right. I won the 2019 Coleman Medal. Oh. Yep, Turtle? Tom Hawkins? Incorrect. Pretty shot for that, is it? All right. I'll keep going. I can see you're both thinking. I love it. I was drafted in 2010 as an underage selection for GWS. Ball. Oh. Yep. Total. Underage selection for GWS. Common medal. Toby Green. Incorrect. <laughs> I don't think he's won a toad. I don't think he's won a Coleman medal. Brother? Yep. Jeremy Cameron. That is correct. Well done. Good job. Yeah. 
Good job. And the last two were, uh, I, oh, the last one was I won a premiership with Geelong last year. So how's the final so, score, Reggie? Uh, well, what's, what's the who am I worth? Was it three so points? I... Was it worth three points like last week? Because then it's, uh, it's a dead heat. It's three all. I really need to get a backup question just in case <laughs> this happens. <laughs> So what, 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 why don't you base it off, you know, the amount of questions you've got leading up and give points on how many questions down it got to get there. That's, so if you get it on the last thinking, question, yeah. one point, et cetera. Co Cody said well, he's, he's got a question for him. So that was, I'll, I'll say two points to Brozza for that. So you lose 3-2, I believe. Oh, good. All right, hang on. We've got, we got a question for you. Cody, fire away. And just while Cody's uh, typing that question out, um, I did have a question in mind. Yeah, I'll just reiterate. Those of you on TikTok, um, Spotify, YouTube, would love just to follow us, keep up to date each week. Um, Spotify, this podcast will be out. So if you can't jump in and tune in live to the show, you can always listen to your spot, you know, on Spotify going to work, you know, if you're driving to work like me or catching catch on the train. Um, yeah, we'd love for you to subscribe to us and uh, and support us. It'd be awesome. All right, Cody's question, boys. Who finished last on the ladder and won the flag in the same year? We were talking about this at golf. Ross. Uh, Ross, yep. It's Roy. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> Cody, it's funny you say that. I literally, Rosa and I were talking about that while we haven't hit a golf yesterday, uh, Monday. That's that's a great question. Great question. Well done, Turtle. Right. Too good. Turtle, you'll be carryover champ next week. Apparently. Same time yeah. next week. Next week, uh, I believe, and we'll have to double check with Todd once he's feeling better. I believe you're versing uh, the tips leader, Myth. Well, at the moment, he's a tips leader. All might change after this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure, the pressure might get too much storm. <laughs> there's, there's a few of us knocking, knocking on the door. <laughs> there is, especially from 25th spot. <laughs> But uh, look, again, just want to thank Bros and Turtle. Bros, I know you've got a busy night tonight, so I appreciate you taking the time to come back on and uh, we'll let you get back to your pool games. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See you too. You, thank you. Thanks, bro. Turtle, well great win. Thank you so much for participating tonight. Look forward to seeing you around the same time next week with a new challenger. Hope, hope, you done, no hope you're available. Good luck yeah, to guys, mate. See you, guys. See you later. I better change our view back for the last minute or so. Michelle. That was good. That was very that was good. Turtle, Turtle uh, he wasn't confident leading into No, he wasn't. Ten. He was in the chat saying, he was, he, as long as they're multiple choice, he'll have a lot more a lot more chance. But uh, he came out firing and got three in a row. Great footy knowledge. Great footy knowledge. Three in a, three in a row like Pyres. Does that yeah. mean he's going to win next week or lose? Ah, I think he's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, guys. Um, Eggy, I don't have anything else. No, that's all of us. That's all our all our, uh, our segments and everything. I think uh, Todd, Todd, when Todd comes back, he might bring in a new segment. I'm not sure what that looks like yet, but I look forward to something new. And uh, we'll keep, keep your eyes peeled on TikTok and on discord for our for our betting tips for the weekend and uh we'll see you all in chat absolutely and feel free if, uh, in discord there's a couple of channels there if there's any quiz questions or you want to participate or anything like that post in the discord that's probably the easiest way to reach us at the moment um thank you so much to everyone for tuning in loved having the input in chat cody arty g raw popped in for a bit there as well calzo loved it Loved it all. Turtle, the champ. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. And look, as always, let's hope this weekend's an explosive round of footy. <laughs> all right, boys. See you all next time. <laughs>